got three words for you this morning. Let's Sunshine, blue skies. Right? Hard to complain. I'm, I'm actually <laughs> sad I'm back inside now. Aww. I'd rather be blind to Join the, the club. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the deal, Kennedy. You know, I'm never satisfied with just telling you calm weather for the next four days. So let's start with our big picture setup. What you see, this cutoff low, that brought us snow last week. Well, high pressure finally, finally builds into the region. And well, if you like the weather today, this is your friend. And until this pattern breaks, we're stuck with lack of clouds and very mild conditions. And that's what you do see through the Friday time period, even into Saturday. But look to the west as per usual. You know, on the first full day of spring, if we're appropriately uh, temperatures in the 60s with sun, something's headed our way. Our next storm will arrive Saturday to Sunday for the high country, Sunday to Monday for us out across the plains. So you enjoy the day today and the next few days. It's already 52 degrees and we still got 10, maybe 15 degrees of warming left to go. Now there is plenty of sunshine. I think some of the melting snow is causing some confusion with our sensor here. So today, bluebird skies for the most part. Temperatures already at 52 here across the metro area and we continue to warm three to six o'clock. We're in the 60s, low 60s, but we'll still take it. That is about five to 10 degrees above average Average, clearing overnight tonight by 3 a.m. Still 39, so a mild night if you do have any late plans or early start to the day tomorrow. As far as our official highs, 64 is what we're going with across the metro area. Portions of the foothills, you're in the 40s and 50s, 48 in Blackhawk, so still above average no matter where you're located. Wiggins, Fort Morgan, 62 apiece. So the general name of the game, the general trend, above average temperatures today. 62 and 64, the lucky numbers for Laramie Weld County. 62 in Greeley, 60 over towards Campion. Loveland at 62 as well. Estes Park, west elevation change. You're in the upper 40s, low, maybe some mid 50s as far as highs are anticipated today. Current look at a satellite and a radar rather, all is clear. You're talking one or two upper level clouds that will be possible. One thing that we are watching closely, this is throughout the afternoon today, through 3.30 west of Denver, the foothills, we're talking one or two sprinkles will be possible. Watch the metro closely, some of these spill out to the east. So again, largely dry, but this is something we will monitor if we could get a quick shower across the region. But all in all, we are dry, we are sunny, we are comfortable, and that's no matter where you're located today. If you like today's weather, tomorrow, circle this on the calendar, two thumbs up, 67 here in the metro, 70s out on the plains, some 60s even possible for portions of the foothills. Friday and Saturday, we do enjoy these comfortable conditions as well. But as per usual, ups and downs, the roller coaster continues Sunday night into Monday. Look at our temperature trend as we showed you earlier, a spike or rather crash in temperatures. So a first alert weather day will be possible Monday, light snow accumulations for the metro, heavier for the foothills, but there could be some flash freeze potential. So a whole lot to unpack, but your key takeaway before you worry about that, through Saturday, enjoy the comfortable conditions. We'll continue to unpack this system, Kennedy, over the next few days. All right, Joe. And by the way, happy spring to you. Happy spring, the first full day, right? There we go. <laughs>